Okay, six of swords reverse and eight of swords reverse. Okay, so first off, I have four sword cards. So let's talk about those first, mainly because it is related to this person. Now you're an earth sign, and um, I do feel an energy of a, a an air sign coming in. You're an earth sign, and this is an air sign coming in very, very early on in the month. And um, the air sign could be an Aquarius, uh, Gemini, and Libra, okay? It is next to the lover's card and the strength card, so it does indicate to me that a lot of you might be in a relationship with an air sign, might be contemplating jumping into, you know, a, a union or a relationship. I do feel that it is also like um, a serious relationship. This is not like a, a fling that you're, you know, that you're jumping into. So this is somebody that is either in your miss or somebody that you're thinking about jumping into a relationship with. Um, in general, it is a little bit problematic because this person is rushing things a little too fast, okay? And being a, of a different element, I don't feel that um, you understand how impulsive this person is. So it's really important to like, um, I guess, I almost feel like you should have a talk with them. You should try to figure out where they're coming from because um, the air energies, indicative of all these swords, Seven of Swords, Six of Swords, and Eight of Swords. It just feels to me that um, they're in a dark place, or they were at least in a dark place. They've dealt with like infidelity, they've dealt with like a broken up relationship, and they've dealt with... Um, it, it's almost like um, they're jumping into another relationship rather than taking the time to mourn that past relationship, or they haven't properly mourned it, and they're using another relationship as a distraction. I, I almost sense that with this energy, okay? And at the same time, I do feel that um, for female for female Capricorns, what I do feel is that um, you're going to be very well received this month. Like It's almost like people are clamoring to be in your presence. And um, you have a lot of options. You have a lot of people to choose from, actually, for this month. So if this person is not entirely like up to your caliber, and I hate saying that because we really shouldn't judge people, but I do feel that, you know, hold out for something a little bit better. If you're just like, um, if you feel a little lonely and you just want to jump into any type of relationship, I would just advise you against that in general as a, a, a general rule on life. But I do feel that you are going to be very well received and um, you have a lot of options, okay? So don't settle is what I'm saying. But I don't I don't feel this is a bad person. I feel that um, he or she is just a little impulsive. But aside from that, um, he or she has to deal with a lot of baggage that I don't feel that person is totally like over it yet. So getting into relationships um, might be a little problematic. Um, they might want more from you. They might want more of a commitment from you. And you're kind of commitment shy at this point because there are a lot of things going on in your life at this point and you don't really know if you can commit to it and you don't really know if you want to with this person okay so um if that's what you're dealing with i feel that it's important to be honest either way but the way this is playing out too you have a lot on your plate and i don't feel that you're going to be super busy like you were in january and february and march especially like um february i don't feel that you're going to be that busy but your your mind is elsewhere. It's like the, the things that you're hoping for, you're taking care of loose ends in order to have everything solidify and cement and mesh together, okay? So you're not like handling a bunch of things. You're trying to like um, invest your time into this one big, big project that I feel is going to have like a lot of um, potential. So in general, you don't really have time for love, you know, so that that's the only thing. This person might want the, the love, the committed relationship, okay, and they're kind of pushy about it. So it's important to, like, clear the air, let them know where you're coming from, because I do feel there is a mismatch in communication style. So you might not fully um, be fully aware of where it is that they're coming from and why they're pushing so hard for it. And if they're pushing so hard for it because in the past they didn't do that enough. So now they really want to um they, they really want to like approach things in a different way, which is I, I feel like it's good for them, you know. But if it's like causing you anxiety, then you know, make sure that you you straighten this out with them. 
if it's not an air sign, it could just be somebody who's a little bit impulsive, who's a little um, kind of like argumentative and uh, very intelligent, though, uh, very articulate. So he or she knows exactly what they want, you know, and they, they are really like adamant and very vocal about getting you to commit. So I feel that, you know, you might be turning the other way and they might scare you off a little bit. But I do feel that um, their heart's in the right place. They are honest. Even though it's in the reverse position, I don't sense dishonesty. I do sense a little bit of impulsiveness, but this is not dishonesty here. Um, at the same time, okay, for those who are in like committed relationships, like who are in, you know, stable relationships, your partner m might push you, you know, to like uh, take it an to the next step, like marriage or, you know, or even if you're not at that point yet, it might be like meeting the folks, meeting the family, planning a vacation together even. Because I do see that um, there are some money issues here and I do feel that this is, there's some travel that other people are pushing you for. Either they're coming to see you or they want you to come see them or they want to take a big trip together, okay? and. Um, you're kind of like holding on tight to your money a little bit so you're not really sure if this is something you want to invest in and um, at the same time you feel that financial security is going to be more beneficial for you so then you're kind of delaying this um, this opportunity this offer or you know this suggestion you're kind of not sure about it okay so I do feel that um, in general Traveling will be good for a lot of you, so do take the opportunity to do that because you are in your head a little bit too much and you need to really get out there and get some fresh air, okay? Um, so for those of you who recently got out of a relationship, okay, I do feel that um, for some reason um, you might have had to like relocate for a job that pays more and then you had to like leave that relationship behind. Either that or the other person had to like, you know, left you behind to pursue another uh, career which is really far and you can't do that long distance relationship that person could potentially come back this month and I just want you to be a little bit careful about that if that energy starts to resurface um, be a little clear about what it is that you want from them long term I mean if they were willing to forsake the relationship before I don't feel strongly that they're going to stay in this in the long run for you so it's important to like keep that in mind as well when you choose who you get involved with and um, so in general what I do sense that is very important is um, for those who are thinking about dating or even like thinking about pursuing a new work situation too it has a lot of potential, okay, but it is going to require quite a bit of work from you and I don't feel that you are totally aware of all the responsibilities that people are dumping on you or they're going to dump on you. I don't feel that this is something that is going to be apparent until the end of the month when you're realizing that you have so much to catch up on and like I said, it's not like a bunch of little things, but it is one major big thing and it is definitely worth it. So. Um, Make sure people are clear with you about what it is that they want. They want from you what steps you have to take to prepare yourself because um, I don't feel that you you are directing your attention in the right direction. Um, I feel like a lot of love distraction that might interfere with work, okay? And I know Capricorns in general are very level-headed and you don't lose yourself in relationships, but I do feel that um, the way this energy is coming in, this is like a very love relationship oriented type of spread. We have, you know, the lovers and the ace of cups here and all these sword energy and especially this card. Um, I just feel that, you know, like um, your work is kind of like on the back burner. You're taking a breather and you're letting the other person into your life. Um, and you're just like really enjoying your life this month. You're finally getting a breather. And then because you're getting the breather, instead of taking time off for yourself and not have to worry about other people and, you know, about like baggage, you are trying to sort out this um, potentially like toxic relationship or you're trying to find like um, direction as to where this relationship or how this relationship should proceed. And in the process, um, everything else is kind of like falling on the wayside, which is not a bad thing because I don't feel like there's anything urgent or there are, you know, 
hectic energies involved in this month and so this is going to be a pretty relaxing month but I do feel in general you are still waiting you, with this project it could also be you know other relationships too but what I'm sensing is a project um, something that you actually have really high hopes for you're still kept in the dark and you're going to be kept in the dark until the very end of the month and when everything just starts piling on okay so try to really try to as you go through the month try to take care of things you know day by day so that you're not swamped okay because I do feel that you're going to be kept in the dark until the very last minute and then you're going to have to backtrack and like fix things and then it, it just creates more work and it's just like um, more redundancy and especially more trouble than it's worth okay so just be careful about that um, so aside from that, I do feel that in general, May is going to be a good month for you and um, it's not going to be hectic at all. Um, the only thing I would say to watch out for is like be very careful with your spending the first um, two weeks, okay? I know that a lot of you might be contemplating like travel. There might be travel delays if you're thinking about travel, okay? Um, so there might be unanticipated like um, expenses that you're not really that you didn't count on. So it is going to be require more ingenuity from your end in order to navigate like the financial issues. I don't feel it's going to be like very very problematic. A lot of it is just you know with the sword energies there's only one pentacles card. So with predominantly swords and wa and cups what I'm sensing it is it is communication. It is going to be like um, ideas, miscommunications especially with this card. So there are going to be problems regarding like how you present yourself to others, how others are trying to reach out to you. There are a lot of communications this month from people from all walks of life, from all areas of your life. Um, there are definitely going to be like um, a lot of quick energy, so it requires a little more like flexibility and a little more versatility on your end in order to um, assess what it is that is worth moving forward with so you have like people coming in pretty quickly and pushing you forward so it's like um the energy is not hectic itself but it's very kinetic okay and you handle that very well so i don't feel that is going to be a problem um yeah so then aside from the the energy the kinetic energy we have like the the water energy which is very stagnant so it's kind of like um air flowing in you know like very swiftly and you have all this like water energy which is like your emotions your your feelings and a lot of it is like very stagnant and it hasn't been addressed okay so if there are issues from the past really try to get to the root of it and really try to get everything resolved so that you have peace of mind to really enjoy this month because the month looks fine if there are like um if there are people that you are counting on especially like an air sign um, to follow through in some way if there is like somebody that um, you're counting on and you know they tell you they're going to have things done in a certain manner or in a on a base on a certain deadline really try to keep on top of them like especially the first two weeks to make sure that they follow through and that there are no surprises okay because I do feel there are going to be miscommunications especially with these two swords um, cards so what it is is like they say they're going to do something and then you know they slack off and then you have to like go back and fix it so it's one of those situation and it's not that you have to I just feel that you're kind of fed up and you just want things to be done the right way so you're going back to do it but you don't have to do that okay save yourself the trouble remind them multiple times and I do feel they are going to come through um, let me see what else I've left out um, Okay, so in general, um, just know that I, I do see the only problem is going to be like the end of this month when everything starts piling on and then you have to make adjustments and um, the, the adjustment is like just extremely last minute. So that's the only problematic thing. So these two cards together just indicates to me that, um, you know, responsibilities are piling on and you're trying to like, um, you're trying to to move a lot of things in a certain direction okay and you were kept in the dark for the majority of the month 
and everything is starting starting to clear up which is a good energy but in the process of clearing up you just have a lot more insights and you have to like you know how to move things forward so you're just like overextending yourself just be very careful about that okay everything has a time and a place there is a reason why this information is not coming to light until the end of the month because um things do happen for a reason okay so i feel that you should release yourself and um not of the obligation but you should release the need to know okay so for example this is coming to light now rather than at the beginning of the month because you're in a different point in your life by the end of this month where you can make a better um, decision for yourself okay so knowing beforehand is not going to help in any way because there are other things that are still blocking like full knowledge of the situation so even if you were to know it beginning of the month you would stress yourself out even more and then nothing will come out of it so I just want you to be like just be okay with going with the flow for this month and just know that it's okay to lie stagnant like that water analogy I was using earlier it's kind of like be that water okay stay calm collected despite everything that is rushing out all over like uh, around you so just let that let people rush don't let them rush you don't let them affect you because water has a lot more depth okay so let it I guess like let everything around you circulate and eventually everybody will be heading in the same direction okay so as an earth sign I know that um, air and water are very opposing elements from you so it's important for you to like um, you're best off lying dormant so and not let those things affect you okay so um, just keep that in mind for this month and just know that like out of the elements you are the most stable okay and it is important for you to basically be still and try not to make decisions and especially rash decisions I don't feel that's going to be a problem for you but I just feel like I should reiterate and for women in general I, I do sense that you know you are going to be sought after too um, people find you very desirable okay so for women for those who are looking to date again or who are, are out dating I do feel that it is important to, to be discriminate um, especially so for example I, I know I don't talk about this a lot but um, if you are looking to like hook up with people just be very discriminate because um, when you know when the alcohol wears off or when you you get when you see them the next morning you're not going to be completely pleased so just you know just just be a little careful at the same time um, if you're meeting somebody okay and they um, so for example if you're just like physically attracted to them it's important to like um, be honest with yourself why it is that you're attracted to them is it just you know their their physical appearance or it, is it because they have a little more depth okay and I would suggest you aim for a little more emotional depth in your partners or in your potential partners because you're going to be a lot happier um, you know physical appearance for all people it can only go so far but especially for you Capricorn so it's important to aim for people who have a little more substance even if it's just like a random hookup because you do want I, I just feel that you know you don't want to like have regrets okay so just be careful about that for men in general um, if you are in relationships don't be pushy don't don't be demanding or pushy I do see this um, energy coming in for uh, male Capricorns in general okay and it's important for men male Capricorns as well be truthful with your partners okay I don't want you to end up in a situation in which you might be exposed for something so keep that into perspective and um, overall the month looks fine take some time off to relax a lot of you might need a vacation so you know I do feel that um, travels there might be delays but it is a very good time for you to get all the paperwork in order get everything done so that you're not stressed out okay and have like a very clear itinerary and have if you're traveling with other people make sure they're where they're supposed to be and make sure they're on top of their things so that um, you know you're getting your paperwork in and they're not so be very careful about that okay um, overall I hope you have a great month of May and I do feel that um, you will the energy looks fine okay so don't worry so much enjoy yourself and um, be discriminate male and, 
and females be discriminate about who you have flings with, okay? So just be careful.